friends. Welcome back. My name's Ramon. How are you today? So here we are again, that time of the month, where I talk about my faves, my hates, and my empties for the month of March. And I don't really have a lot, but there's still some I want to talk about. And so before we get into it, I'm going to ask that you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give it a thumbs up and down below in the comments. Tell me what are your opinions on the products that I'm going to talk about today? What are some of your faves and hates for the month of March? enough. I just want to say, if you are watching this in the month of March, I did apply for the 2021 Sephora squad. If you enjoy Glow by Ramon, you found my video content useful, or you really enjoy watching me, I'd really appreciate your support in my running for the Sephora squad. There's going to be a link in the description box for you to submit a testimonial as a form of support. I'd really appreciate you doing so. It might help my chance in the running, but I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm going to start off by doing my empties first. We'll get into my hates because as usual, I don't have a lot. And then my favorites for the month. So first empty is going to be this. This is the Prito Centella Green Level Safe Sun. I know some of y'all probably saw this and were like, <gasps> but here's the tea. First and foremost, this still gives you something. I also bought this, so I did have this in my bathroom and I wasn't gonna waste it. And also third of all, I have a whole video on this, I'll link it up in the card. The amount of sunscreen you put on is proportional to the amount of UV protection you're getting. The SPF value advertised is based off two milligrams per centimeter squared. I know this had a lower SPF at two milligrams per centimeter squared, but your UV protection doesn't necessarily just cap off and plateau. The more you put on, the better protection you get. So the reason we went through this really quickly is because we just put on a lot more of it just to make sure we got more adequate protection. It still feels great, still looks good on the skin. I'm not gonna waste this. So it's empty now. Next is this, the Bow Shop Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. One of my all-time favorite cleansing oils. This actually lasted me a minute just because in the midst of using this, I was testing out a bunch of other bombs and oils. So I'm actually very surprised this is finally done. Would I reconsider purchasing this? Yes, this is one of my favorite cleansing oils. I've used this for years. This has a really good sensory feel to it. Can I reorder this though? No, I don't know how to get this in the UK. So if you want to send it to me, let me know. Next is this. This is from Medicube. It's their Red Acne Body Wash. I recently featured their exfoliating pads in my favorite K-Beauty of the Month video. I've been testing out a bunch of products from the Medicube line, and I was very interested in this just because, you know, 2021, so you're a body care, and I was like a salicylic acid-based body wash. Love that concept. And my boyfriend and I worked through this pretty quickly, actually. It took us about, what, two months? I really enjoy the texture and feel of this. It just feels like a regular gel cleanser on the skin. A little bit of it does go a fairly long way, but it also just smells really good. Then I get a noticeable result from this kind of i'm potentially doing a full medicube review but i will say the biggest result i got from this is the fact that i've been working out and when i work out especially when i get like excessively sweaty my back gets a lot of like blackheads and some breakouts and i haven't gotten those just because when i wash with this i usually like apply it to my like back area i let it sit for a couple minutes just to make sure i'm getting some of the benefits of the actives in this and i can like say i haven't gotten any back breakouts since i started working out since using this so worth noting. Next are these, my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealers in the shade 230, 290. I've had these for a minute. These are my favorite like complexion products. I've primarily just been doing like more full faces of just concealer buffed out in a very sheer layer. Am I repurchasing these? 1006%, especially in a couple more shades, but these are my favorite. Period. Next empty is the Time Revolution Artemisia Treatment Essence from Misha. I love this product, especially since I've been trying to review more mugwort based products. What I will say is that I didn't go through all this. My boyfriend did because every time he uses it, he uses like 17 spritzes of it at a time. You don't need that many. You don't need that many to feel the hydration from this. I don't know why he goes ham with this. He's the reason this is empty. Would you repurchase this? There you go. And then lastly, I have the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. If you didn't watch my Glow Recipe video, spoiler alert, this is actually one of my least favorite Glow Recipe products, not because it doesn't work well, it's a great cleanser. The smell of it's just a little bit too strong for me. When I use this on my face, it just becomes a very overwhelmingly like laundry detergent smelling and I don't like that necessarily. So we actually converted to using this as hand soap just because I'm not gonna waste a good product. It's a good cleanser and it feels really good on the hands. I don't feel like it's leaving my hands stripped after excessive hand washing. If if you have cleansers that you don't necessarily love for your face, repurpose them. So those are all my empties. Let's get on to my hates. And again, there's not a lot. So for me, as someone who wants to work on product development, I could recognize there's very rarely a bad skincare product. There's just products that don't work for me. So that's why even though I review products that don't work amazingly for my skin, I can always recognize who they're better suited for. That being said, we're gonna talk about these right now. And these are two tone up sunscreens. I don't get the point of tone up. I had some people up in the comments for these videos talking about, well, tone up is a really great because it helps to like camouflage the look of hyperpigmentation. I don't understand that. Please explain to me down in the comments because for me, what these do is they elevate your entire skin tone up. That's what they call tone up. They make you look a little bit more fair, but that basically raises like whatever's on your face up a few degrees. It doesn't camouflage anything. It's still very sheer. I can still see my breakouts, my hyperpigmentation, my acne scars. This doesn't hide anything. It's not a foundation. So I don't 
I don't understand that. That being said, this is from Village Eleven. It's their pink calming tone up sunblock. This one's from Can Make. It's their Mermaid Skin Gel UV in the shade White. These are interesting because you work them into your skin. They have their tone up, but they sit on your skin very like matte. They're very lightweight matte textures. If I had to choose, this is the better option. This one, it feels like a light paste. Like it has calamine in it and it feels kind of like a thicker calamine gel. So while it feels lightweight, there is a very thick presence on your face. It feels like a very lightweight paste and makeup looks horrible on top of this. But negative Nancy's out the way. Let's get onto the favorites for the month of March. And first and foremost, I have this from Secret Key and it's their Black Snail Original Essence. This was part of a set of three and it was this, the ampule, the moisturizer. I like those, but basically spoiler alert, I'm reviewing some Korean brightening products. And because I'm dedicating as much time and effort to those specific products, everything else in my routine right now is very bare bones, straight to the point, primarily just hydration. And this fills that hole nicely. This is just more of a really viscous essence texture that's still very lightweight and hydrating on the skin. It smells really good. It's a light perfumey like fragrance to it. It gives me a nice sensory feel that goes along with a very nice luxe packaging. This gives me like Estee Lauder, going to Macy's for some shopping, like realness. It's just really cute. Really they love snail. On a similar note, I have this from Unique and it's their Black Snail Restore Cream. I never heard of black snails before. I didn't know there were black snails, but here we are. As I mentioned in my Korean Beauty of the Month video, this is just interesting because it has a very snaily feel to it at first. It's very viscous, very sticky, but once it works into the skin, it's just a very lightweight gel texture. It's very straight to the point. It feels great on the skin. It makes your skin look really good. Snail products, I don't know what it is about them. They just make your skin look nicely, like radiant, glass skin, dewy, super lightweight, but I feel like it really just locks hydration in your skin. Skin. It's very affordable. Unique hits everything I've tried from them out of the park. I don't know what's going on in these labs. Still trying to try more from the brand just because everything has been like amazing. Next on the list is this essence from Chuk Chuk and it is their Rice Power Essence. If you didn't watch my indie skincare video, Chuk Chuk is a Korean beauty boutique based in Chicago that I shopped at a bunch when I lived there and I connected with the owner because of that. And she told me back in the day, hey, I'm launching a brand. I'm formulating products. I would love to send you our first launch. And here we are. Basically what this is, is just a really nice hydrating lightweight essence that has some anti antioxidant benefits from it, some niacinamide up in there. It feels good on the skin, looks great on the skin. It's just quintessentially a really good Korean beauty product. Again, it's always great to support some indie businesses. So if you're looking for a cute Korean essence, Chuck Chuck's got you, link in the description box. Next, I have this Bonajour Green Tea Water Bomb. And I mentioned this, I think in February's K-Beauty videos. But the reason I'm mentioning it in this month's video is the fact that, again, I'm trying out some brightening Korean beauty products. So everything else in my routine is very straight to the point. And I mentioned in February's K-Beauty video that I like this because it just was a very good straight to the point moisturizer. Left your skin nicely nourished. It was very lightweight. It gave a really nice appearance on the skin. It just was fun to use. Here we are a month later, still actively using it pretty much twice a day. Great texture, really affordable love this. And the last product, this is the B Vital Treatment Nine Essential Seeds Essence. And I actually mentioned this in January or February's K-Beauty Favorites. I don't remember. This was sent from Stylevana. And this is a nice essence. What's interesting about this is that it's essentially a very, very, very lightweight emulsion, meaning it's toner mixed with some oils that are held together by emulsifiers. So you get a little bit more of a nourishing texture. It's kind of like a very lightweight moisturizer, kind of. But here's a tea. I'm not using this on my face. I'm actually using this in my hair. It's called Nine essential seeds because it has nine seed plant extract oils in this. And that's what you're primarily emulsifying in with like the more aqueous texture. And because it had that nice silky emollient feel for it, one day I was like, what is this gonna feel like in my hair? And oh my God, this feels amazing. It looks amazing in the hair. I have very dehydrated hair. So I always try to infuse as much hydration as I can into it. So usually on like day two, after a wash, my hair is starting to feel a little bit more dry. And I start to put this more towards my roots and I'll comb it through. And then towards the uh, ends of my hair, I'll lock it in with like a deep conditioner a mousse or like a lightweight gel and my hair just retains a lot of the hydration the luster the softness for a little bit longer if you have like toners or essences that you want to like go through a little bit quicker or you're looking for something to help with hair hydration something like this a lightweight emulsion is amazing in the hair just add some emolliency and shine to your hair it makes it a lot more softer and silky a little bit easier to work with 100 recommend and with that those are my empties my hates and my favorites for the month of march let me know down below what your thoughts are on these products what your experiences are what some of your favorites and hates for the months are don't forget to hit that subscribe button notification bell so that you know when i post more skincare sunscreen and fancy related content on my channel give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys bye